Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of A House of Many Doors. We have currently made it back to the city of Keys, the big capital city, or at least the capital city we've come across for the time being. We haven't had a lot a big look around. We've been trying to keep our nose clean, stay away from the big purple missiles. Big purple missiles, in my experience, are never good. And basically just trying to drop people off. We are I suppose a glorified bus service right now which is fine i dig it we're only learning the game right now and what's happening and what's going on and the crazy stuff that can happen it's pretty dark it is a pretty dark game and now i haven't had chance in between this episode and the last one to do any research on the items we've got so i figured with this episode we'll just concentrate on doing a few things around the city of keys if anything else has opened up for us we'll look at maybe getting a navigator at some point if we can and we'll drop that lady off just below where we are right now uh, to get a little bit of monies and see what's around that area also with all that being said we need to crack on with having a look at our dwellings see if anything's changed we can write a poem we can work on our magnum opus or we can leave the city so no nothing has changed there uh, we can rest and recover 15 guineas it's probably worth it our cash is doing okay at the moment unhinged and uh yes doing all right anxious we'll rest again for 15 guineas it's worth it uh we can visit um the governor's man but i don't think we'll bother with that i'm interested in going to the padge memorial museum of unnatural curiosity to see if anything we've picked up so far can be dropped off you want through the museum's dusty halls just blank plaques and empty plimps the museum is zero percent complete okay oh what do you have for us this time asks ambrose hurrying you to towards you and fussing excitedly with his hair elga follows like a somber shadow uh what do we have we have an ancient grimoire a bizarre effigy an unsanctioned scripture indecipherable tone a stoppered bottle of darkness a cultist paraphernalia or a fossilized ghost yeah see again we only have ones of everything and i'm really reluctant to just sort of hand it over uh that being said though how's our haul doing one four eight out of fifty i don't think that's worth getting too fussed up about uh, as far as information we can sell we've got some scandalous gossip an unsettling conjecture glimpse of another world is worth quite a bit uh, or we can hand in the unsanctioned scripture. Mm, it's not worth a lot though, is it? Ten guineas? I don't know if I really want to be sort of hang, handing this over to him for no real reason. Uh, we could write a freelance article, I suppose. You've returned from the new smell elsewhere. Time to write it down. That sounds good. Uh, so, oh... What freelance report on current affairs in Kando Gandola, Eld Aprathat, and Founders Fire. They're all worth quite a lot, actually. I think we'll do it on all of them. The Hollow Trumpet are willing to accept freelance work. They're the biggest tabloid in the city, and they'll pay the best. They won't, they won't appreciate you. The second option is the Pioneer, a magazine for explorers and travellers. I'd actually be interested in your work, and they've paid quite well. Then there's the Key details a semi-satirical paper known for tweaking the noses of censors you don't get paid well but you do some real journalism, journalism occasionally they're all paying for a distance bonus as well as what you pay for the report i'll tell you what let's we'll do them all so let's sell this one which was worth a hundred to the pioneer so we've lost the current affairs. That's fine. The Pioneer gives your article a double page spread of its own and displays your name prominently. However, the magazine evidently has issues with circulation. You don't see anyone reading it in the street and most hawkers don't carry a copy for sale. Still money is money. And then we'll do the more expensive one. Freelance Report of Current Affairs at Eld Aprathat. So the key details, because I haven't done them before. The key details gives your article a whole page in the back of the paper opposite a furious expose of working conditions in the howling pits. Your name is prominent, but circulation is mediocre at best. You see only a few copies being read in the street. But hey, well, at least you know me. We may be the worst journalist in the world, but at least you've heard of me. Uh, right, and uh, let's do Founders Fire. 
and we'll sell that to the hollow trumpet the hollow trumpet gives you your article half a page wedged between a made-up scandal about some local aristocrats predilection for goatman and a panic mongering story about the mycenae fret they also spell your name wrong but circulation is booming and you see copies of the trumpet everywhere okay so uh, the only reason the reason i've done that and i've done it to all three is i wanted to see if there were any sort of uh famous traits or um well-known traits attached to doing that with the different papers but offhand i would say there's not there's there's nothing to do other than cash with who you put it to and obviously artistic integrity we won't be writing for the rag again that's for sure so um we've got a little bit of cash now this is good uh, let's wander the streets see what happens a watch officer stops you as you wander toward the dead zone that surrounds the howling pits he's sweating under his waxed mustache no entry he says in a tight voice something escaped from the pits last night again the governor's men are taking care of it screams echo over the rooftops inhuman keening cries familiar to anyone who spent time near the pits the watch officer's hand shake as he lights his pipe so we can offer to stand watch instead with every fresh scream the watch officer's face becomes a little paler uh highly unlikely success see the problem with that is if people are screaming then it's not going to end well for us and if we don't have a good chance of actually being successful in said proposition then we're just putting ourselves at risk for no decent reason so i'm gonna leave i'm gonna wish you well sir and i'm gonna leave you to it uh what else do we have uh we could go to the howling pits we might be able to buy buy something illicit you need your contact in the outskirts of the dead zone he flicks away his cigarette as you approach they put a good crop of fossil ghosts he tells you enough that he could hide one away for you if you want one uh, i'm gonna buy one i'm gonna buy one the reason being i am going to donate that fossil ghost to our museum because we now have two donate a fossilized ghost you wander through the museum's dusty halls one percent complete right so i guess that means we're gonna have to put in a hundred items into the museum unless some are larger than others i suppose uh, we have had two new options come up, though. Uh, what are your opinions of the museum so far? The museum is still mostly bare, says Ambrose. It will be difficult to judge its academic and educational value until there are more exhibits on the show. And aesthetically, of course, it is much the same story. It just looks empty at the moment, but that will change. Okay, will the museum pass its government inspection? At the moment, the inspectors say that the museum is an upstanding and civic-minded institution, says Ambrose, smiling. Let's try to keep it that way. All right, cool. All right, so we we can see how that works now, which is good. We could probably do with drink bottle darkness. It's a bad idea. Don't do it. Oh, oh, I, I like it when stuff like this comes up. Uh, let's advertise for a new crew member first. You meet the contact in the outskirts of the dead zone. He flicks away. No, hang on, I've just pressed on one, haven't I? Hang on a sec. Where is it? Advertise for a new crew member. There we go. Days or weeks or months in a scuttling tin can, surrounded by strangers with questionable morals and mental health, and a significant risk of death or worse. Who wouldn't want to join the expedition? So, what shall we do? Last time we pulled up a poster, it was all right. Nothing major. I mean, we've got the cash now. We might as well pull up a an advertisement in the newspaper and see what comes of it i suppose you take out an advertisement in the key details a light-hearted periodical which tends to poke subtle fun at authority while skirting safe safely within the limit of censorship and what do we want what do we want uh we've actually got names of people here so i presume the junior engineer and the swabby are below deck which is fine we then have these guys uh, Fiona McConnor, I think that is, abandoned outside Fargal Keep as a baby. She was raised by the fearsome poet Knights. She has an official looking letter of recommendation that says she is from from the Knight Commander himself. Uh, she's a guard captain. Uh, we've got Sandy again. Sandy's the one that, who we fell out with last time, wasn't it? 
She claims to know the house like her own lowercase house. But the stories she's told of her previous expeditions have been wildly inconsistent. Ugh. It was Sunny that we annoyed, wasn't it? By shooting her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm not that first. For the sake of one insight, I'm not that first. Uh, the fact that you can upgrade your insight, again, I'm not that first right now. Uh, Banjo Smigs, a supremely confident ghoul in a weather beaten coat. When you ask about his past, he says he was involved in legitimate business. Then he winks and clarifies that he means crime. <laughs> well, at least we all know where we stand, I suppose. Uh, as far as my guard captain's concerned, we've got plus four grit, plus four spirit. I don't know if there's a way of me actually looking at him bef without coming out of the screen. And this has just cost me money. Which is annoying. I'm not first about Sandy Brackett. Screw her. She's got a knee wound now. She's no good to me. Uh, we'll take on, just so we're not wasting money, we'll take on a junior engineer. And then. And then, and then, and then. Do I do a test of Esoterica? I don't know if it, I can be sort of chastised for that. Let's find out. You retreat to your quarters in the structural crew that you may be some time. You work feverishly on the tome, day and night, scribbling hundreds of pages of notes on the structure of its language. Understanding blossoms, eventually in the sodden earth of a dozen mistakes, you find similarities with other obscure languages, and working from these you are gradually able to tease out meaning. The book concerns matters of the occult that have long been lost to time. This explains the sensation you had, that the book was resisting your attempts to translate it. Studying it has impl implanted some paranoid worm in your brain which won't stop wriggling. So we've spent four days translating it, we've lost a small amount of sanity, we've gained an ancient grimoire, and we passed. Nice. Uh, and we've also gained a divine scrutiny, Nahash. Whatever that might be. It does mean, though, we've got two ancient grimoires, I believe. So let's donate one of those. Oh, it's jumped up to 5% now. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. What else have we got to do here? We can shatter the bizarre effigy. Don't know if I really want to do that. Drink the canister of hazard coffee. It will clear your head, though it carries the risk of making you sleepless. Sanity's all right. Uh, travel for our fetch mirror. Don't need to do that. I'm not worried about filling the box up. Oh, we can fill it with exotic memories. Uh, we can chain your human prisoner to the front of the Kineto feet. <laughs> the darkness will strip the skin away eventually. We can gain a temporary trophy. That seems really harsh. Uh, we can press Granga human prisoner. I don't want to do that because I don't know which one is the prisoner at the moment. I believe the passenger is classed as a prisoner until you drop them off. So with all that being said, can we buy anything before we leave? We could buy fuel. Fuel is probably worth buying. 15's good. Uh, as far as long guns are concerned, we've got the 35 pound long gun. So really there's nothing else we can upgrade here, which is a shame. We can buy, we've got Hazard Coffee, Ineffective Remedy, Cures All Ills, Claims the Trader, Sack of Salt, Bestial Remnants. Again, until I really get caught for any of this stuff, I don't really want to be just buying stuff for the willy nilly. Um, it might be, well, do I need to buy a fetch mirror? Is it worth buying a fetch mirror? I don't think it is. No, you know what? Let's just get out of here. We've done what we needed to do. Let's skedaddle. Uh, where are we going? I have no idea. Pour over the map. So we need to go south to then west five. Okie dokie. Oh, no, we're going east. We're going east. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> so if that's the case, we need to travel south and then west six, methinks. I mean, I wonder if the actual 
finding of the navigator is something we're just going to come across as we travel or wherever we get the chance to recruit people at other cities or towns. Uh, you just, you're not honing in on me, are you? No, he's not fussed. Oh, you're big. Oh, we're going to give you a wide berth. No? Well, I'll go this way. That's all right. I think we're quicker than him, so we don't have to worry too much about this guy. I'm just very aware we have a terrible gun. Oh, we found something with eyes in. Mm. A dilapidated church. A church from another world. Its spire is sagging, its steeple falling in. Candle stubs and damp, rotten, holy books scatter the floor inside. You wonder if it was stolen on a holy day. Perhaps an entire congregation was devoured by the dark. Your crew linger in the church, laughing and putting their boots up on the pews and treading on the holy texts. You get a sick feeling in your stomach. Cold fingertips brush the back of your neck. Something is wrong, and you order your crew back to the kinetopede. Something sinuous creeps among the rafters overhead, watching you leave. So we've gained a disquieting incident, and we've made a lucky escape, supposedly. All right, well, I'm, I'm one to take that into note, I suppose. Didn't really get a, a lot of say about anything there, but hey-ho. Another clear room, which is okie dokie as far as I'm concerned. I should probably check the map as well. If anything falls within our radar, radar, radar even, it would pop up about now. After that, it's just a case of exploring rooms and seeing what's about. As far as the actual encounters are concerned, I don't know if they're procedurally generated, and it means that. I, there's a possibility that I could come across new ones if I was to retread over old ground or whether I have to keep exploring new areas to get new encounters come up. I guess that's something we can look into as we uh, traipse around this big old house. And I think this is the last screen before we get to drop this person off at wherever they want to go. Oh, no, one more. This is a very barren room. And that was a... That guy... He... He's been slightly awkward. Can we risk it for a biscuit? Oh, just about. Oh, have I, like, completely missed where I'm supposed to be going? Yep, wasn't let down low enough. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, okay, my bad. We'll go this way. That's all right. We're just, we're just clearing the house. That's That's all we're doing here. Nothing to fear. Everything's going according to plan. That's a rib cage. Oh, I was <laughs> I was paying too much attention to the uh, thing which just walked off the screen on the right hand side, hoping it was going to walk off and not loop around, and it did. Thankfully, we should be pretty much there now, though. Nearly? Oh, what you doing? You homing in on me, friend? You homing in on me? I'm going to have to use this big library as a, as a barrier between us. Where are you going? Run! Run! Yeah, it'd be really cool if I could buy a biggish scuttler. One for a better word. The city of bridges. Boom. A criss-crossing network of bridges, each groaning under the weight of hundreds of buildings, straddling a measureless abyss. Affluence from the higher bridges falls like rain on those below. Literally raining shit. Great. The city has an elected mayor, but it is, as everyone knows, ruled by the consortium. Who is the consortium? Pray tell. I have no idea. Now, we can take on a bounty. The station is plastered in wanted posters. The consortium pays handsomely for the heads of those who disrupt their trade. Uh, we can rest and recover. Not too fussed by doing that. We can gather news. That will cost me one guinea. The newspaper industry in the city of Bridges isn't quite as powerful as in the city of Keys, but it still does good business. Well, let's have a look-see then. 
The consortium's contract with the Sons of Vermin mercenaries has been extended. More unexplained disappearances. Oh dear. Uh, then we've got a green cloaked mercenary informs you that the consortium requires your presence. He offers to escort you to Fortune Hall. Why not? Requires sellable information. We got that. You are led to a grand office in Fortune Hall. A chandelier hangs ponderous and ridiculous from the ceiling. The desk is built from only the most endangered trees. <laughs> a pinch-faced old man sits behind the desk, flanked by two scribbling scribes. His eyes are hidden behind circular dark glasses. My name is Basilmoth, he says, not looking up. If you come across any information relevant to the consortium on your travels, you are to bring it directly to me. Understand? Basilmoth will pay you for secrets with guineas and reputation. And who exactly are you? I'm an advisor and consultant to those in the highest echelons of the consortium, he says. As such, I'd like to know what's going on. And if you lead me wrong, I will make a very small mark against your name in my register. The next day, every mercenary in the city will be fighting each other to bring me your head. He treats you with a, to a wintry smile. Oh, he's one of them, is he? All right. Well, what can we sell him? What can we sell him? Nothing major. We can hand in an unsanctioned scripture. We can sell him an unsettling conjecture or sell a scrap of scandalous gossip. Uh, you know, I've got nothing good for him. Other than the unsanctioned scripture. How many of those do I have? I've only got the one. Holy text from one of the many thousands of unsanctioned gods banned in the seven cities. Oh, God. It's only worth 15G. You know what? We're just going to leave. Screw it. If we have anything worth doing it, I'll, I'll look at coming back to him. But right now, I'm not that fussed. So that was Basil Moth. We can repair our hull wander the bridges let's drop off our passenger first that's what we said we we're going to do and it's worth a bit of moolah your passenger pays what was promised and slips into the crowd you hope whatever awaits them is better than what they have left indeed uh we have another passenger that could be a good way of finding all the cities so we'll take that on in a second let's wander the bridges there is something to be said for not looking down the consortium relies on mercenaries to guard its trade routes and competition over a contract is fierce you're minding your own business on Rose Pike Bridge when an honest-to-goodness artillery shell blows the roof from the building behind you. Choking on dust and smoke, you die behind a nearby grocery store where a young woman and her son are already cowering. What's going on? The Shade Corps enforcers own that building, she tells you frantically. Some other mercenary band must want to weaken them, stop them getting a contract. An enormous blimp is casting the smoke-clogged street in shadow. A motley crew of figures drop from it on long lines, men with spiked hair and leather jackets. The sons of vermin, says the woman. They don't care about collateral damage. We need to get out of here. So we can broker a peace, which is impossible. We can get out of here or we can wait and watch. This could be interesting. I am going to wait and watch because curiosity never killed any cats. The woman and son flee, leaving you crouched watching the action. The sons of vermin are an unruly bunch. Drunken, tattooed, spraying bullers with wild abandon. They begin to faint at random. At least that's what you think at first, until you spot the neat red holes in their foreheads. Snipers. And a troop of the Shade Corps Enforcer's heaviest infantry are marching down the streets. Open warfare is taking over one of the busiest bridges in the city. Do I start taking notes, or do I make a run for it? I mean, they've got snipers. You know, that, that's never good. So I'm, I'm going to leg it, I think. You escape the most immediate danger intact. And we've got a thrilling yarn out of it. Nice. Does this happen often here? You've heard rumours, but... But that is all we shall find out. Hey, ho. Uh, what else can we do? So, we've still got this prisoner. I don't know what to do. Do I press gang them? And have a, a spare gunner? Or a guard? A guard actually would be pretty helpful. More guards the better in case we get taken over. We've only got the one gun, so we're not going to outgun anyone this time around. So if we do get boarded, having lots of guards would be good. So we'll, 
What happened as a guard? You greet your prisoner with a cruel, bright smile. They stare at the rifle in your hand grimly and are utterly startled when you pass it to them. Time to earn your keep. Welcome to the crew. So the only thing left, really, other than looking at the shops, is uh, to take on another passenger. So let's do that. A bearded man asks for safe passage to the City of Angels. Oh, we're going to LA. He will pay you 100 guineas on arrival. He gains it. He clings to his bags and refuses all help. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, what do we have here? We've got a fuel station where fuel is quite expensive, actually. And we've got Fortune Hall, the consortium's headquarters, a vast complex that spans half the length of a long bond way. Serves as a bank, stock market, and the biggest hub of commerce in the seven cities. Oh, okay. Got anything interesting? Uh, lumber, chillstone, arms consignment. An undreamt treasure, if you want to part with one. Then we've got a very private procurer. She asks for an anonymous, an anonymous collector with specific and peculiar tastes. And uh, we've got an empty memory box, which we've got. Uh, factory goods. Or a swarm bomb, whatever the hell that is. Her lips part, revealing sharp white teeth. And then we have the Grand Abattoir. Blood and viscera spew into the void from the bowels of this huge butchery cathedral. The grave denied priests will pay high prices for rare animals to slaughter. Right. Don't think I'll be doing any of that anytime soon. But hey ho. Hey and indeed ho. Yeah, I mean. I could put the prison. No, I could have put the prison on top. I can't now. So I think we're pretty much done here. Oh, we can advertise a new crew member here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. And we're going to advertise in the newspaper, although it does cost out of a lot. There's a good chance we're going to get a different navigator from here, though. So I am up for that. And who do we get? No one. No navigator whatsoever. Great. Uh, we can go for a record keeper. A lookout. A light bearer. Again, I'm not really knowing what's going on here, so we'll, we'll take we'll take another engineer. They can repair stuff, you know. And uh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. We're gonna go to the city of angels, which is. Have I come across the city of angels already? Take your passenger to the City of Angels. I'd love to. Where the bloody hell's the City of Angels? I'm pretty sure we haven't come across it yet. No, we haven't. Um, I don't know. Should we head? Should we head east and see what's what what lies eastwards, or should we go south? I suppose south would be pretty good. Looking at it, north is a viable option too. We'll, 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 well, because we don't have any definitive answer, I think we'll end the episode here. <laughs> then I'll do the research that I promised to do in the last one over the next one. I've got a couple of days before I'm, I'm able to record this game again. So um, I'll be able to do the uh, acquired research with what we've got, get an idea on, on what we need to do, and uh, hopefully have some sort of direction because. I don't know where the City of Angels is. It's not showing it on the map, so we're going to have to do a bit of exploring. And I don't feel like we're in the in the right frame of mind to be doing it with the, the ship we have as it stands right now. Although, looking at prices, it's not like we can upgrade anything as of yet. So uh, maybe just uh, keeping out of fights, keeping our nose clean, and just trying to cover as much of the house as possible is the way to go. But we'll discuss that at the start of the next episode. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.